Toku and Magical Girls have are roughly the same if you really think about it. One's about boys kicking the shit out of their enemies with love and friendship, and the other is about girls kicking the shit out of their enemies with love and friendship. I was paid to write a game about both of them at once. Simple enough, but there's a quirk. I was also paid to get it, make it about cultivation. A quick summary of Tao's philosophy in cultivation. You are an engine made of energy. You can convert that energy to get stronger. The more you cultivate your energy, the stronger you get. You can learn special martial arts to get stronger. You can eat pills to get stronger. You can even fight other things to get stronger. The stronger you are, the more awesome you get until your final tier Celestial God Dragon XXL Double Extreme Beach Volleyball Edition. And probably have some kind of Chinese manhwa written about you. Alright, so it's a game about using the power of love, friendship, and ultimate god energy to defeat evil. So, how did I actually do this? Well, simple. It's a D100 system. Roll over. Yes, Eclipse Judgment When Is Our End is a rollover D100 game about pushing yourself to your absolute limits. You're not real cultivators. You're the budget variety that the celestial bureaucracy press gain into getting superpowers to stop reality from destroying itself. You're doing that whole cycle above way faster and way more haphazard. Each roll you make will be 1d100 plus modifiers, with most of those modifiers coming from your backgrounds or combat styles. Any roll can of course be augmented in four ways, swapping around the dice, re-rolling them outright, having them explode on dubs, or using their attributes. Instead of directly contributing to the roll, attributes can bump either the dice up by whatever the score is, so having a 2 in agility is technically a plus 20, plus 11, or plus 2, or can be negatives of either, or just nothing at all. And yet Yes, they can trigger explosions and can be swapped if necessary. But what's the catch? Karma. Your cultivation isn't free, and it's burning away your soul faster than you can fix it. You're an RV with terrible gas mileage, and you have a meth lab tied to you keeping it going. Karma builds by doing just about anything, swapping dice, succeeding too hard at actions, or just having a bad day. If you ever hit 108 karma, your body fucking ignites itself in one final burst of energy. You don't have any powers anymore, but hey, you won't be alive much longer to care. Now, you can ritually scar yourself to get rid of it, or you can build your relationship. These bonds with others allow you to reduce your karma by their intensity. Even simple acts that remind them of their humanity will slowly reduce it down, keeping them happy, healthy, and getting stronger, as this is also the way to get experience points. But why do we care? What's going on? We're just training endlessly, right? No! Demons are here! It's time to henshin, baby! Yes, transforming into your power state is essential to keeping the hero alive during fights, as they will not only gain armor points to soak up damage, but also be able to successfully use their hand and built quite extensive, I may add, martial arts techniques. Most combat is broken down to using these maneuvers or building up Zen. This Zen resource allows you to use katsu actions, injuring major enemies, healing themselves, or even outright destroying minions before them. As the Shia grow in power, they will unlock different transformations along the way, which directly increase their karma by using them, moving from a standard power to their power stance to finally their Shin transformation, their final ultimate form which allows them take five actions per return in a flurry of death. Finally, the Shia will suffer bottlenecks, requiring them to undergo major breakthroughs or to enable them to get stronger. With them leveling up tied directly to the amount of karma being generated, enemies fought, and everything else. These Shia need to struggle forward, as that's what keeps a real hero going. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was Eclipse Judgment. When is our end? If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. A many thanks to Celestial Emissary for funding our misadventures. All the links are down below. Thank you, good luck, and have a lovely rest of the day.